Hello, hello, hello everyone and good morning to you all. My name is Ava and this is Stitching in the Interlake and I am going to try this again. Hopefully it works. I don't know how often I can do this because I don't know where the problem lies. I got lots of room, lots of memory on my phone, but yeah. So, uh... Anyway, um, so today, first of all, is Mandala Monday. And I want to show you how far I've worked here on this. I will show you a picture of it. This is what I'm working on. It's a Caroline Manning design. And it's part of the Shooting Star Collection. So, I'm about, oh, I don't know, somewhere around in here. And um, so, I still have lots to do. So, uh, but I am getting there. So, I'm going to work on it today. And, um, and put in some time on this and some love. And, um, I am, I'm just seeing something here. I'm just seeing something here. <laughs> I thought I put some of my stitches. No, I think they're okay. They just looked odd. So that's what I am. Um, that's what I'm going to work on today. Okay. And you can work on whatever it is. You can work on a mandala. I have it set that it's just for an hour. I'm hoping this isn't too far away. Um, yeah. It's just for one hour on Monday. So you can work longer on it if you choose to. Or you don't even have to do a mandala. No, it's whatever it is that you choose. Now I wanted to um, go back here to... Uh, let's just see here. This part here. Oh, gosh. So there is my gnome. And... He's all finished. He's been washed. He looks fabulous. Oh my goodness, he looks so fabulous. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's, uh, he's just perfect. <laughs> Even with some boo-boos in there. <laughs> and uh, as you can see right here, I put beads up here. I put this sequined here. And I, I stitched it on with white thread. I put snowflakes here. I put eyeballs there. And snowflakes all around. So, and I did use some of that A12 thread, the, the white or the blanc. I put that in here and down in, in here. And I also used some of the red a12 and I put that in here just to give it a little bit of sparkle and what I did also was I changed a couple of colors here in the tree because it looked too washed out for me too pale so uh, that's what I did so this is another one and I'm uh, maybe sometime this week I'm hoping to be able to um, mount it. We'll have to see how things go. Um, again, how I feel. Uh, but I will try and record that so that you can see. I will have to get all my... Look what I got. I've got a fly here. Ugh. Gosh. Well, we'll put an end to that one. 
Yes. I thought, oh, there was a black mark. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, now where did I put my thread? I'd gotten my thread out and uh, is that the color? Got it. No, that's not the color. Oh my goodness. I'd gotten a thread out here and now I can't find it. Uh, maybe that was the color. Oh. Gosh. Maybe it was. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. Uh, so, anyway, uh, what happened yesterday? Um... I don't like it. My nails are so short here, my thumbnails, but the nails kept splitting. So I had to keep cutting it down and cutting it down. So now they're down right here to the nub. And um, it makes it hard when you're trying to separate threads. But uh, anyway, and um, so... We had our service. Father Paul was very, very, very tired. He was, like, he said he'd been up since 2 o'clock. And, um, and he's, he had all of his services to do. It was a very long day for him and no rest. And then, um, so he, um, yeah, he, he, he really looked at, like it yesterday. His eyes were all sunken in and dark and all that. And so I said, you're here for another year. And he said, yes, he said, I said, well, that's good. And he said, mm, he kind of shrugged a little bit and that and and I said no he said no he said I want to retire and so I think this is going to be his last year here yeah I don't think he's going to go on much longer so it's uh As long as he's um, he's happy and not, he's got his parents in uh, this one senior place and like they cook meals and they do the laundry and that, and that's what he wants. So they don't have a retirement home for um, those in religious life, not around here, anyways. So, <clears throat> and then what happened? Um, came home. Oh, everybody loved my flowers that were outside there. They had taken a bit of a beating with the wind and the rain, but they still looked pretty good. And uh, I keep hitting things here. So, yeah. So, as time goes on, they'll start to fill out more. Julia asked me, she says, why did you do that? I said, because there's been no flowers. There's no nothing. You know, like, I... I had already paid for the pots and then um, I'd already had the soil from when I bought it earlier in the month and I just had to buy some flowers so I did that so And it's something little, but it's welcoming, right? It's it's more beautiful. So. 
So. Yeah. So then, uh, I didn't do it for any kind of, you know, um, recognition or something like that, you know. I, I did it because it looked so empty there. And I thought this would be just perfect. And I saw that my... Calla lilies just are not doing anything. They are not doing anything. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave them in the dirt and just buy some other flowers to go on top. And if they come up, they come up. If they don't, they don't. So, now what am I doing today? I'm not sure what I'm doing today. I am not sure what. It's, uh... Yeah, so it's Monday the 27th of May 2024. If you're just new here, thank you so very much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, please remember to make sure that you are subscribed, okay? Because um, YouTube likes to kick people off. And... Um, so anyways, it's it's a bit hard here for me to do my um, uh, stitching here because the camera is right, right, right in front of me. <laughs> so it makes it difficult. So Juliet told me this morning that uh, this lady who I used to live beside in Lundar, and I was friends with. And um, she, uh, she'd she had an accident earlier this month. So she was in Winnipeg. She'd had several broken ribs. Uh, so now they've moved her here to the hospital. So I think on Wednesday I'm going to go and... see her for a few minutes maybe get a get well card for her yeah so Yeah. But otherwise, not much else. So please remember that on Saturday, which is the 1st of June, <laughs> that, uh, well, Friday we finish up with our Jungle Fever. And... Um, on Saturday, the 1st of June, the June's challenge is patriotic. And I will show you what I am going to be stitching on just a minute here. Let me get my, let me get my iPad here. And I will show you what I'm going to do. I got to find it first. Um... See, I was thinking of doing this one. Okay. This is from Twin Peaks Primitives. And I bought that. They had a sale. 
I don't know how long ago. It was a couple of years now or a year ago or something. And I thought, oh, well, that's that's so nice. I'll, and then, oh, gosh, I don't know if this one here, well, if there's a picture of it. Uh, I will kind of quickly show you that one. So I found that one, but I don't have a picture picture. And just a minute here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, dear. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. Uh, no, no, my Christmas tree. Do, 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 do. I got so many in here. I was even thinking of maybe starting one of my, um, like, from Stitching with the Housewives, another barn. I may do that for, um, I may do that at a later date. Oh my gosh, am I even going to see it here? Uh, no, that's not it. Oh my goodness. You never realize what you've got until you start going through it. <laughs> Can't find it. Cannot find it. Isn't that something? Well, I'll try to find it at a later date. You're, you're going to see it anyways as I'm working on it. So, sorry for that. I got a little sidetracked. <laughs> That's what happens. Um, this coming Sunday, there will be a live. And so, I am looking forward to... To that and uh, but on third Sunday it's um, we will have uh, mass again I really feel for Paul, Father Paul like, like he's getting older and and not uh, Oh, I was going to tell you. I've been noticing this this bird or these pe this pair of birds. And they came here and I thought, what are they? What are they? What are they? So yesterday it was, it was on the hydro pole out there. And um, so I thought, oh, you know, it looks almost like a woodpecker. But it didn't have the coloring of a woodpecker, like what a traditional woodpecker is. At least in our region. And so I looked it up, and it's called a common flicker. F-L-I-C-K-E-R. And it's not like your traditional woodpecker. But it is in the woodpecker family. And this is the first year that I've seen them around here. And they're the type of bird that likes to be on the ground to eat. But will be like a woodpecker. So they got a long, long beak. I'm surprised they don't get a concussion <laughs> or brain death. <laughs> I know I was watching one program once and they were showing, you know, because somebody had asked that question. I don't know where it was or something. And they said that their heads are cushioned so that they don't really feel that. 
And I, <laughs> I thought, okay, fine. If you say so. Oh my gosh, I just, I, I just get a headache or a migraine just thinking of it. Speaking of my migraine, it's still here. Oh gosh. On Wednesday, I'm hoping that my um, Ajovi will be in. But it's going to take a few days for it to take effect. And uh, I, I told Juliet, I said, I'm not going to miss it again. I, I'll have to put it on my credit card or something next year. Uh, but I can't afford. I can't. I just. To miss it like this is just. No. I'm in too much pain. So. Yeah. So, um, for those of you that don't know, I do have a dedicated Facebook group, and that is Stitching in the Interlake. And it's um, all you need to do to be part of the group is to give me the name uh, to answer the question. Okay, if you don't answer the question, you don't get in. And is to give me the name of one of my two living sidekicks. And I name them every video. And uh, I'm not... Oh, I think I might be changing the bed today, too. I think maybe I'm going to do that. Aha! Uh because -huh. I was looking down here at Lily Bell's bed. And I was thinking, oh, I should change her bed, too. And I might be able to do a load of laundry. It depends. There's all this cloud rolling in, but it's still far to the north. So I'm hoping there's... I don't think there's supposed to be any rain. So, yeah. So the dedicated uh, Facebook group is Stitching in the Interlake. Okay. You'll notice a common theme here. <laughs> um... And uh, I also have a dedicated email address, which is stitchinginteinterlake at gmail.com. And that stitching in the interlake is all one word. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so yesterday I... I watched Jen, the caffeinated crafter. I watched Rana, scrapping grandma. Such a beautiful woman. She's such a beautiful soul. Oh my gosh, she's she's like what you'd think every grandma should be. And I loved my grandmother. It was the only grandmother I knew. But she lived in Germany and we lived over here. So I did not get to see her except once every two, three years. And I love my Oma. So, um, yeah, and then I watched uh, Loon from A Random Stitcher. And I watched a few others that were on there. I mentioned Becky's Madness for crafting yeah and that it's Jen the caffeinated crafter not stitcher Jen the caffeinated crafter she's so funny she's got so many projects she said she she did a, a poll yesterday of what she was or she showed what her summer stitching is like oh my gosh so she pulled 60 kits that she was working on. 60, like, and these are all um, counted. And some of them are huge. And then she pulled another 20 as kind of a sideline, 
as if the 60 wasn't enough. Like, oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> no way. I love watching her, though. But <laughs> there's no way. And and Becky does basically the same thing. But she doesn't have big projects like that. She likes to work on little ones. And she likes to work on gnomes like I do. And, um, what was it going to say? Oh, and then I watched um, a movie on Netflix called Atlas. With, uh, I don't remember her name. I was going to say Jennifer Lawrence, but I don't know. Uh, something like that. Anyways, you guys know who it is. And she's very good. Now, the start of it got was a little bit slow and I just almost didn't want to put it on but then as you got into it it's heavily CGI though really heavily CGI and then um yeah so I watched that and then I just watched whatever it was that was on there you know um canine cops and and uh, you know car chases and police chases I mean and this morning I walk watched about uh porch pirates getting caught in the act I I can't believe the arrogance of those people I've been blessed I've had nothing stolen and here it is that it seems like we're not getting things delivered. It's going straight to the post office. So, and, um, which is okay with me. I mean, that's no big deal. I guess they're trying to minimize the, um, theft problem I just can't believe the audacity of these people who think that is it is perfectly okay to steal someone else's property their package and then they're there and they're just like well I didn't mean to I'm sorry I just you know but of course you meant to if you didn't if you didn't want to do it you would have walked right back past but you just thought that it was a good opportunity to get something that you never worked for and like the announcer said on the video I was watching most of these people are driving around in expensive brand new vehicles and he was saying, well, you know, why would they steal if they've got a brand new vehicle and all that kind of stuff? They steal because they have that brand new vehicle and they have to make payments. Right? But it's just terrible. It is, it is awful. And then they whine and complain because they were caught. Right? Yeah. I have no sympathy for people like that. Just like all the the uh, thefts in stores. Now tell me, have any of you been in one of these stores and had a gang come in there and just go through and steal? You know? Um, like I know there are a lot of companies. I'm trying to think of what their names are. You know, they, uh, um, what is it? Um, I don't know if it's Chanel and um, uh, Michael Coors and some of the others that make these extremely expensive purses, like $3,000, $5,000. I've got a purse that cost me 10 bucks. Works just fine. Does the same thing as yours. Um, 
but who needs something that expensive? You know, and how many people would actually buy that? You're only paying for the name. I'll just buy on Timu or I'll buy on Ali or, uh, you know, even Amazon. Or I'll go to the thrift store and if I find a nice one there, I will, um, I'll get one there. You know, you don't even have to buy a new one. There's so many of the people nowadays like, oh no, I'd never wear used. I'd never buy used. Why would I want to wear somebody's cast offs? And all that. Why would you want to buy something new? You know, like. Pfft. I don't, I don't have a lot of new stuff. I buy used towels, or, or secondhand, I mean. I buy secondhand sheets, blankets, dishes. Oh, I'm into getting Corel dishes now. But I'm not getting one specific pattern. I'm just going to pick different patterns for variety. And I have some Pioneer Woman dishes that I'm going to put up for sale at the yard sale. And, I mean, I like them and everything, but I don't need them. They're too heavy for me now, anyways. And um, so I'm slowly getting rid of, you know, the heavier stuff and just taking something that's lighter. So, so anyway, I think that is it. I am going to work on this for a little bit, I think, and then I'm going to work on my um, Please Be Home for Christmas and from Carolyn Manning, my mandala which is right here. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue working on this. And I just work on it a little bit, you know, basically one day a week, and that's Mondays. If I choose to work on it a little bit more, I do that. If I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to do it today if I don't want to. So... Yeah. Anyway. All right, everyone. I hope this video loads. Oh, my gosh. I pray it loads. But I am going to try and do a video on how I mount this. Okay. So, and we'll see how that goes. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself. There she is. There she is, that beautiful girl. There she is, my lily bell. Oh, see? She gets very... Anytime somebody touches her or something, she just... Yeah. So, please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh, yeah, Jonah's outside. He came in for a little bit and ate, and then he went back outside. So, I think I'm going to change my bed. And then I'm going to watch, uh, there's another movie on Netflix called Damsel. I want to see about watching that one. Hopefully, it's good. And uh, I guess that's it. So, um, yeah. So stay tuned for there being a tutorial on how to finish this up. Okay. I don't, I don't know when. If I can do it today, maybe I'll do it today. So, alrighty. 
Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hopefully this gets into view. And um, yes, please leave your comments and join the Facebook group if you would like to. And uh, perhaps if you're new here, just tell us a little bit about yourself. What area of the country you're in or city or um, if you're in the U.S., Canada, U.K., wherever, you know, Europe, Australia. Yeah. So anyways, have a fantastic day, everyone. Toodle-oodles, everybody!